Welcome back to class. Karibuni darasani. If you're new to this channel, Ninaitwa Jacinta. My name is Jacinta. You are much welcome to today's Swahili lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about past tense in Swahili language. Remember last time when I was teaching you the personal pronouns, we did look at present tense. So today we are looking at past tense, okay? Something that was done in the past. So that's what we are focusing on today. Feel much welcome and let's get into the video. So in Swahili, we have a procedure that we follow when we are constructing sentences in past tense, right? So um, we have the personal pronouns here. We have the subject prefix, and then we have li as our tense marker. So we have li. That's what we use for past tense in Swahili, li, okay? So if you see li, this one, in a sentence, just know that that sentence is in the past tense, okay? Then here we have a few sentences that we are going to use as examples, right? If you're not subscribed, kindly click the subscription button below so that you don't miss out on any videos that I do post. Thank you so much for those who have subscribed. Thank you so much for those who are following. Let's make Swahili easy, right? So let's begin. The first one, we start with first person, of course, which is Mimi. You remember, Mimi translates to I in English. Mimi, I. And then it is always represented by ni. So when you're forming a sentence, uh, we start Mimi, ni, okay? Mimi, ni. That's the first part of the sentence. So... Our tense marker is li. So the sentence is going to be complete. Mimi ni li. Okay? Mimi ni li. So that means I, what did you do? What did I do? Sorry. Mimi ni li. So let's pick up one sentence from the other side so that we can come up with a full sentence. Mimi ni li piga kura. Mimi nilipiga kura, okay? So the sentence we have is Mimi nilipiga kura. Mimi nilipiga kura. Mimi nilipiga kura. You see we have Mimi which is followed by ni and then our tense marker is li to show that it's past tense. Then we have piga kura. So piga kura means voted. So this sentence means I voted. Mimi nilipiga kura. I voted. As short as that. Mimi nilipiga kura. So this part, piga kura, is when someone is voting. We say piga kura, vote. Okay? Now that I already did it, um, you, you know that um, in Kenya, elections have been going on even up to now. So we did vote the other, the other Tuesday, okay? So I can say, I voted in Swahili, Mimi nilipiga kura. Mimi nilipiga kura. I voted, okay? So I hope that one is very clear. Let's move to the second one, which is you. When you are talking about someone else, you, okay? So we start with wewe, 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 which is you, wewe, you. So wewe is always represented by u. So we have wewe, u, okay? Wewe, u. Our tense marker, li. So, wewe uli. And then we pick a sentence. Wewe ulikula kuku. Wewe ulikula kuku. Wewe ulikula kuku. 
very simple. So our sentence is Wewe Ulikula Kuku Wewe Ulikula Kuku So this means you ate chicken You ate chicken You ate chicken, sorry You ate chicken Wewe Ulikula Kuku so the word wewe, you, which is always represented by u, wewe, u. And then we have our tense li, we have our tense li, and then we have the verb kula. The verb kula means it, kula, it. And then we have, of course, kuku, which is chicken, okay? So if I want to say you ate chicken, I will say wewe. Ulikula kuku in Swahili. Wewe ulikula kuku. Okay? Let's continue to the next one. The next one is yeye. Remember, when you are referring to he or she, yeye, he or she, represented by a. So we have yeye a. Yeye a, our tense mark ali. So yeye ali, let's speak a sentence. Yeye alikimbia. Yeye alikimbia. So our sentence is Yeye alikimbia. Yeye alikimbia. So our verb here is kimbia. Kimbia translates to run. Kimbia, run. Kimbia. So Yeye alikimbia. It means he ran. Or she ran, okay? He or she. She ran, he ran. Yeye, Ali Kimbia, okay? On to the next one. Sisi. Now, if we are many, I want to talk about us, okay? Us. Sisi. We, okay? We. Sisi. Sisi is always represented by two. And then our tense marker is li. So we have Sisi tuli. Sisi tuli. Let's pick a word. Sisi tuli safiri. Sisi tuli safiri. Sisi tuli safiri. So the sentence means we traveled. We traveled. Sisi tuli safiri. So the word, the verb safiri here translates to Travel, safiri. The verb safiri means travel. So we'll say sisi tuli safiri. Sisi tuli safiri. We traveled. Sisi tuli safiri. So the word safiri, travel. Li is the tense and then sisi is represented by to. Okay. All right, we are doing well, so let's move to the last two. When you are talking about nini, nini, which means you all, okay? You all, you plural, nini, you all. So always represented by m, mm. nini, m, mm. nini, m. Mm. If you add our tense, we will have nini, mli. Okay, nini mli. Let's speak a, a verb. Nini mlipika ugali. Nini mlipika ugali. Okay, so we have a sentence here. Mlipika ugali. Okay, nini mlipika ugali. So the word, the verb pika translates to cook. Okay. And then nini you all represented by m mm. then the tense is li nini mlipika ugali you all cooked ugali do you know what ugali is it's our staple food in kenya it's prepared from corn flour or as we, we call it maize it's prepared from maize flour i'll show you a picture of how ugali looks like for those who haven't seen. And if you haven't tasted 
it's very nice very very nice you can go ahead and try it out when you visit kenya okay so most of the time we do it ugali so when you come to kenya and hear about ugali kindly ask somebody to cook for you ugali so nini mlipika ugali you all cooked ugali you all cooked ugali okay nini mlipika ugali so that's our sentence and then the last one we have wow when you're talking about other people they wow they you see though it's simple wow they wow they don't forget so wow is always represented by wa wow wa and then remember our tense is li a tense marker is li so then we'll say wow wali wow wali okay and then let's see uh, a verb here ogelea ogelea translates to swim so if you love swimming in swahili we say ogelea swim ogelea okay so uh, in this sentence we can say wow wali ogelea baharini so baharini means in the ocean in the ocean in the ocean wow wali ogelea baharini so we have the sentence Wow. Wali ogelea baharini. Wow, wali ogelea baharini. Okay? Wow, they ogelea swim baharini in the ocean. So we are adding the ni to mean in the ocean, okay? But if I just say bahari, this translates to ocean. Bahari, ocean, bahari, ocean, okay? If you visit Mombasa, you will be able to see the Indian Ocean. So you refer to it as bahari in Swahili, bahari. But when you add the ni at the end, in the ocean baharini in the ocean okay so you can swim in the ocean wow waliogelea baharini when you're talking about other people they okay so that is how you can use the past tense marker li to construct sentences okay so all these are good examples to guide you on how to use the tense li if you want to do practice if you are an intermediate or advanced student and you've learned of some verbs then you can construct as many sentences as possible for your practice at home okay let me know in the comment section if you have understood if it's clear about swahili past tense okay yes so that is it thank you very much for watching up to this point i'm so happy thank you for supporting me thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed up to this moment you still have a chance to subscribe so that you won't miss on my next video okay thank you so much asante sana Bye. Bye.